I'm Ashley, as you guys know, and I'm here with Matthew today, and we're going to be talking about creative writing. Um, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is Matthew Hedges. I'm a reality TV personality. Uh, if you want to check out my TV show, it's called No Time to Lose. I just search like No Time to Lose Insight TV on Google. You can find it. I make YouTube videos as well, do music, vlogs, gaming, that kind of thing. So if you're interested, check it out. Cool. <laughs> so I do mainly poetry writing, and um, I wanted to ask you about where you tend to draw inspiration from when you're doing your songwriting. Yeah. So when I songwrite, it normally starts out with me just like playing my guitar, just like just strumming, making like a chord progression or just like playing around with it basically. And I'll just like find something that I really just, it just feels right. And then I sort of just blurt out words. Like it's not even coherent things. It's just like da 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 da. And then it just sort of like forms into like the first thought in my mind. So a lot of my songs I feel are about my life and just like how I'm feeling. A lot of it's like, I don't know what life is, what existence is, and that type of thing. And it's sort of like a longing for life. So I'll just like, I have a song called Pink Clouds. And I drew inspiration for that from, I looked up when I was on a bus and I saw Pink Clouds. And I was like, I feel like that could be a song. And so the chorus for that song is, I look up and I see pink clouds in the sky. Sometimes I just wonder why, if we were made for this or we were meant to cry. And it's sort of that feeling of, I don't know why we're here. I look up, uh, rain comes from clouds, uh, and I guess that feeling just sort of resonates in me and just sort of shows itself in my writing. I tend to draw most of my inspiration from, I usually have like a feeling or a color that comes into my mind when I'm writing a lot of stuff, um, especially when I'm trying to like search for what I'm feeling. Yeah. I usually just listen to like a bunch of music until like I really like key into something and I like hear like a beat or something and I'm mm -hmm. like that's the feeling that's what I'm writing to and so I'll end up putting something on like repeat for like hours yeah as like I'm just sitting here with like either like a picture in front of me that's like a color or something and I'll just keep like editing in my notebook and like scribbling things yeah until I'm like that's really like what I'm going for mm -hmm. when you're looking to like other people's like process or other people who styles you really like who do you tend to like draw inspiration from i feel like i draw inspiration from a lot of different sources because i have a i have a lot of different interests like i used to do stand-up comedy and so when i was writing for that i would sort of listen to a lot of podcasts and a lot of the comedians that i like and just like would get in that funny giggly mood and that would sort of put me in the mood to write for like comedy but i feel like more so with songwriting for me it's reading books which i guess is I don't know if that's a normal thing to inspire you, but I'll like grab a coffee, I'll sit down and start reading. And just, I guess the silence or just the piece of it sort of puts me in the creative space. And that's usually how I get going for songwriting is I'll just sort of relax, have a coffee, sit down with a book, and then it just sort of builds and I feel creative and then start that writing process. I always think that I usually go on like walks whenever I really need to start something, if I'm like really stuck somewhere. Yeah. Uh, I usually end up walking like across campus to like the most random, just like edge of campus. And I find things like, I found the rec center, I think a couple weeks ago and they have like dance rooms in there and they just have like really cool, like lighting and no one's ever in there. And I just like played some music and like danced around until go. I was like, yeah, yeah, maybe like this is like the space that like I needed. Yeah. I think that that's usually where I draw inspiration from is like different spaces. Yeah. Like I I'm just always writing towards a vibe. Yeah. You're just trying to <laughs> Which find is, like, that creative really space. really weird. Yeah. I feel like I usually don't start with like a subject or something. I'm like, there's something that I'm trying yeah. to touch <laughs> it's like it's like a, a hum that like you feel in your body that just is there but you don't know really how to express it and so it sort of comes out in the form of creativity i guess and writing and stuff like that yeah. yeah when you're feeling writer's block what do you feel like usually gets you out of like your slump or what do you start to try and do so that you can get back to it again when i feel writer's block it usually like it doesn't, it's not just like the writer's block, more so like in my whole life, I'll just feel sort of like sad and down. And so it's sort of to counteract that, I try new things. And so whether it's music or uh, eating lunch at a different place, I'll like completely switch it up. So if I'm listening to like 
rap or something, I'll completely switch and go to like feel like metal or something or just completely just sort of change up something and just to mix it up in my life because I feel like once you start trying new things and experiencing new things, it sort of gives you that motivation and like that feeling that makes you want to create more. So normally when I'm feeling writer's block, I just try new things. I'm feeling that kind of writer's block, like brain melting right now where it's like everything in my life is like kind of like slowed down and it feels just like blah. But I think that's mostly the way that just the school semester has gone. Yeah. So a lot of my life has been uh, like this past week, I've really been trying to do other things instead of writing. So I started like drawing again and I was uh, reading some books for fun, which is a weird thing to do. (laughs) um and just like trying to do other creative things that aren't writing so that I can have like just different ideas and so I have a lot of things that I'm just like okay I can come back to that I can draw inspiration from that um but it's like I think I just needed to like relax a little bit I think writing had gotten like really stressful for a little bit and like I needed to like calm and so sometimes that's just all you need is like a little bit of relaxation yeah Definitely. Before you get back into the process. <laughs> you don't want to burn yourself out because if you're doing something a lot, you're eventually going to hit that point where you're like, I don't want to do it. So I guess just figure out how to beat that. Keep going. And so thanks for being here today. Thanks for talking to me. Is there anything else you would like to plug? Yeah, <laughs> thanks for having me. Uh, if you want to check out my stuff, uh, Matthew Hedges on YouTube. Uh, check out my TV show if you'd like. Uh, working on a bunch of stuff, so I'm always just creating, coming out with new things. So yeah, Uh, thanks for watching.